Hello everybody. I hope you're getting really excited about Christmas. I know I definitely am. Not long to go now, so make sure you're being on your very best behaviour. Tonight's story is a very popular story, one I'm sure you would have heard of before. And this is called The Tiger That Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy at the kitchen table. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Ding dong! Sophie's mummy said. I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because this isn't the day that he comes. And it can't be daddy, because he's got a key. We better open the door and see who it is. Sophie opened the door and there stood a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have some tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just have one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and he swallowed them in one big mouthful. Mwah. He still looked very hungry. So Sophie passed him over the buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun, he ate all of the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and the cake until there was nothing left on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? The tiger drank all of the milk in the milk jug and all of the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all of the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all of the food in the fridge and all the packets in the cupboard and all the tins in the pantry. Then he drank all of the milk, all of the orange juice, all of daddy's beer and all the water out of the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And off he went. Sophie's mummy said, Oh dear, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found that she couldn't even have her bath that evening because the tiger had drunk all the water. Soon, daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him everything about what had happened and that the tiger had eaten all of the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll head out to the cafe. So off they went in the dark. All of the street lamps were lit and all of the cars had their lights on. And they walked down the road to the cafe. They had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. And in the morning, Sophie and her mummy went to the shops they bought lots more to eat. And they also bought a very large tin of tiger food, just in case that tiger ever came for tea again. But he never did. I hope you enjoyed the story of the tiger came for tea.